Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. Today is November 5th, 2009, and as you can see, it's been over two weeks since my last video update. Now, this is out of character for me. Usually, I have content up for you pretty consistently, but it's been over two weeks since the last update. That's really because I've just been so busy with other work that video content has had to take a back seat. Don't think that I'm abandoning you. Again, it's just prioritizing. So a question I've received in a few videos, what's going on up here in my status bar? What are these numbers? What's, what's going on here? And essentially, it's iStat menus. Some of this other stuff, like this for instance, is Tweety. This is Screen Flow. So not all of this is iStat menus, but most of this cool stuff is iStat menus. So how do you get it? What is it? And how much does it cost? The website is iSlayer.com slash apps. And what we're looking at is iStat menus. Now they have other th widgets, iStat Pro and iStat Nano. As you can see here, I have iStat Pro, and it's just in your dashboard to give you some of the similar things. But I prefer iStat menus because dashboard isn't always open, but your top bar here always is available. So they have a version for, I believe it starts at 10.4 and works at, or 10.5, excuse me. So you have to have Leopard or Snow Leopard. Leopard is supported, and again, this is free software. So you just click download and install. It's really pretty simple stuff, and it gives you a lot of different settings. So let's check that out now. Once you install it, it actually makes its own preference pane in system preferences. Some people don't like that. It doesn't really matter to me because you can always remove it, but it's just something to keep in mind. So this is version 2.0, and from the general tab, you, we can use black graphs and there's just a lot of other things that we can check check for updates but let's just show you what I have right now so this is all iStat menus from here to here everything else I believe is not so I have the temperature so right away it'll show me the temp at I believe the CPU of my computer that's probably your most important temperature now you can put this in Celsius in Fahrenheit or Celsius I believe I'm using Celsius uh, even though I use Fahrenheit in, in day to day stuff for some reason I just stick with Celsius for computer temperatures but you really want to keep probably below 70 uh, at idle at least so you can just click on that and you can choose your airport you can look at your airport card memory different heat sinks you get the power and voltage as well then here is network stuff so you can look at your different networks that you're connected to depending on if you're on Wi-Fi Ethernet both whatever you can look at the bandwidth you're using right now your peak in and out or peak is down here, excuse me. This, I believe, is just like how much you've used since it reset itself. I'm not entirely sure. And here's a little graph of how much data you're using in and out at this time. And it's a live graph. Here's your memory, so it's what's wired, how much is active, what's inactive, and what's free, and what's taking up the majority of that RAM is down here. But probably the most useful and the thing that catches the most people's eye are these numbers that are constantly changing, and that's your CPU usage. So right at the top, it'll it always it's gonna show you how much work is being done. Now you can I believe you can merge this into one, but this is just telling me since I have a dual core machine what each CPU is doing. Usually they'll be the same. Sometimes they'll be different, but usually they'll be the same because they work in tandem. But then here you can see how much the user is using, what the system is using, and then what's idle. You can also have a graphical representation, and again, that'll separate user and system for you. And you can also see your load averages, how many processes, what's your uptime, what's your running time since the last restart, I think, as well as what is using your resources now. So that's just a quick run through of what I have. Now you can change a lot of things. You can change the skins, and you can change the skin color. So you have a lot of different choices for how it looks. You can enable or disable. You can change when it updates, so how quickly. You can show your top five processes if you want. Show multiple CPU cores as one item, so you could do that if you wanted to. Limit history graphs, group items, and menu bar. For memory, you have s similar settings. Show inactive as free, top five processes, disk usage. This I don't have. Uh, but you could enable if you wanted to. Basically, it'll just give you a quick representation of how much memory you have on your different disks that you have. So you you could 
This could be useful if you wanted to maybe just plug in a USB drive and then right up there, you know, it would update and show you what you had free. Or if you just always wanted to keep tabs on your system hard drive. And that's something that's kind of interesting because for me at least, usually my hard drive uh, goes from maybe 60 gigabytes free to 10 gigabytes free. Once it gets down to 10 gigabytes, I know it's time to either offload my YouTube videos that I've created onto a, an external drive or send it over the network to some network storage depending. So this could be useful. And you can also show figures in base 10 format, different number system than standard. Activity, disc, disc activity, so similar to this up here, your CPU activity, but it'd show you uh, right uh, from a graphical representation up in your menu bar what's being done, what's being written, and what's being read. Network, which I showed you, and you can show maybe you don't want to see uh, airport for some reason. You want to hide that data usage, so you can uncheck it so it'll only show you your data with Bluetooth or Ethernet, or you can uncheck Bluetooth and Ethernet, so if you wanted to just keep tabs on airport. Sensors, so you can monitor your sensors. This is basically the temperature that I was telling you about before. You can change it to Fahrenheit as well, right here, or Kelvin if you wanted to. Date and time. Now I have it set right here, just standard Mac, and that's what I wanted to check because you can actually enable it to show you the date and time through iStat menus, and then you'll when you click on it, you'll actually be able to get a calendar right there, different times and different places, which is pretty cool, and so on and so forth. So if you wanted to just add a little bit more functionality, you could just disable this and enable this in iStat menus. And again, this is free, so you know they may they'll ask you to donate, but they won't be too intrusive with that. Now the last tab here is iPhone. Why is that? Well, there's a corresponding iPhone application that does the same similar things, but on your iPhone instead, as well as being an interface for you to view your computer stats right from your iPhone. So maybe you wanted to use it just when you weren't around, somebody else was using the computer, they said it was slowing down, you could check and say, oh, there's not enough RAM, and just not connected to it, you could check that on your iPhone. Now the problem with that is, and it all, uh, is it actually costs money, which is kind of strange to me that the primary program for the computer does not require a fee, but that iSlayer is going to charge you, I think it's 99 cents now uh, on sale or whatever to get that iStat system monitoring uh, program for your iPhone or iPod Touch. So I personally don't have it, but it's a good corresponding uh, system that they have set up so you can, you know, get the information you need for your iPhone or iPod Touch as well as being able to, wherever you are, check on the stats of your computer, computers, depending on what you have. So I hope I didn't forget anything and this layoff of videos hasn't <laughs> messed me up too bad. But again, this is iStat Menus. You can find more information on iSlayer.com slash apps. And you can find more information about me at MichaelSherlock.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.